Hello everyone. I just want to make a little update since uh, I decided to uh, do a few stuff in the garden and I thought I'd take the opportunity to show what we've been up to here. We planted a fig tree up on the slope or on the higher level of our garden. <coughs> The back of the garden is uh, open, which will maybe need to be fenced in at some point. As you can see, there's a little path here. And uh, this is not because people walk through here, but actually it's uh, reindeer. No, not reindeer, deer that actually pass through this little opening here into the garden, apparently. There are actually very, very, very big deer herds in this region. I had the opportunity to see one of about approximately 30 or 40 deer maybe about two weeks ago driving uh, around with the previous owner and uh, I'm not sure if I can show you but you can see their hoof prints here I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up but that's a deer hoof print so they probably come here in the early dawn or late at night and they come and graze here. Uh, yeah. We pruned uh, the big tree here. I'm not sure if it's a uh, apricot or peach one of those two and it's now uh, it has finished flowering and now the leaves are coming out and seems to be doing well some of the trees are a bit old no longer productive such as this one for example which uh, probably we will have to cut down and replace with something else. And finally, the attic, which can be also accessed from the inside of the house. This is the first time I managed to open the door now that I have the keys. So I wanted to just give you a little tour of the insides here. I'm not sure if the camera can pick up anything because it's really dark. Here is actually uh, antlers from a deer, which is kind of awesome. Two of them. It's a big mess here. It seems like someone just used this as a random storage place to keep all of their junk. Loads of empty glass bottles there and boxes. Old box, junk, junk, an old broken shelf, there are windows here which are not closed off, you can in here. There's quite a bit of potential in this space but it will need to be fixed up quite a bit you can also here get a view into the front yard <laughs> the cars yeah <laughs> loads of old uh, I'm not sure if this used to be shelves or it looks more like maybe old beds. Random stuff. But it seems to be uh, no leaks because everything is really dry in here. As you can see, if I show you, here you can look down. Here's a ladder that goes downstairs again into the winter garden space. Over there is a summer kitchen, or what used to be the summer kitchen. 
also a lot of junk up on that roof just stocked up there which is not even really easily accessible I have no clue how people got their stuff up there especially all of those bigger pieces yeah this off. I planted a rose just now. It's one of the roses I brought with me from our old home. It's a double delight. It opens up white and then uh, as it gets sunshine it turns red which is quite magical. Let's see, let me get this stuff with me and I'll take you downstairs and show you what we've got in the lower portion of the garden. I really love these stairs. It has a magical feel to it. Still some junk here in the front here in the yard. Gotta clean that up. Planted a pomegranate tree. And uh, just There's some roses. The previous owner had planted these, these are khakis, which are starting to produce their leaves. Got three of those. Here's another khaki. This one is still alive. It has here a little green bud. It's not doing as well as the other one. And another khaki. The flowers are opening up nicely. The tulips, the narcissus. Planted another fig tree. I believe this was a fig tree as well, which the previous owner planted last year, I guess. A rose that I planted. Another rose. We got our garbage bins. Planted another pomegranate. And this is actually a banana tree, which the owner planted previously and it's coming out, survived the winter. Here another one, another banana tree. I believe I printed also, uh, yeah, here's another rose I brought with me, which I just planted recently. It still has to recover from the shock of being transported all the way. <coughs> Beehive, which is still waiting to be inhabited by its bees. Uh, Hoping some bees will decide to move in here. Yeah, this used to be uh, just metal left over from one of the sofas that we had inside of the house, which we took apart to get out, since it weighed a ton. Have to wait for the metal collection to come, so we can get rid of all of the junk metal that's still here. Our little old school awesome well. I'm not sure if I've showed it yet. There. Hmm. Let me see. Maybe you can see how deep it is. It's actually quite deep. How long does it take? 
That's... Boom. Old school. But this whole construction needs to be renovated because... Uh, Now it's in. And then. Yeah, it should be fully submerged. Let's see. I must admit, this whole construction doesn't seem that stable. It looks like it's gonna fall apart in a minute. But. Still works. It does the job. Full bucket of water. One second. Let me just touch this because otherwise it will go flying back down. It's like a hook. So you. Clean water. I'm not sure if it's drinkable, but uh, it should be good enough to flower, uh, water the flowers and plants. Yeah, little update, hope you enjoyed, as well as, I don't think I've really showed it yet, but, let's see, that other, on the other side of the street, that whole piece of land is actually also ours which is like a little wooded area which goes all the way i would say maybe uh, 100 meters in and then there's a little stream which is flowing there everything is locked right now but maybe wait do i have the keys if i have the keys I, we can actually go take a look I have the keys. One second. One of our guardian spirits at the entrance. I'm planning on uh, painting uh, some decoration on this door. It's not really nice. I painted white, but all the rust is showing through again. Uh, and oh, someone mowed here. It seems that's nice. But yeah, this piece also belongs to us, actually. It's really, really overgrown, though. Let's see if there's an easy path through here. All of this is ours as well. We still can... At some point, we'll... Uh, also to make use of this would be an ideal location to set up some more hives because bees are actually uh, animals of the wood I would say 
from here, this width to the blue fire hose and then all the way to the stream that's back there that belongs to us more or less. That's the house. Yeah. Our driveway. This belongs to the old owner, I don't know. He just forgot this here. And here is the terrarium that we just finished yesterday. With the snakes uh, chilling inside of their hide in there. At the moment we're using the gas heater to make sure that it's warm enough inside of the kitchen because the house is really cool, even if it's not that cold outside. Our bedroom door also had a glass missing, so the cold from uh, the heat could escape into the other room, which is not being heated while we're not using it. So we improvised with this. There's only glass here. Glass here. Yeah, so far that has been the few little stuff we finished up in the last few days. She's outside. <laughs> I think she's hungry as well. <coughs> we were supposed yeah, to get her food today, but uh, didn't work out with the de deli delivery. So uh, usually it'll come tomorrow. Yeah, I think she's really hungry. That's why she's coming to check. Uh, I don't have food now. You have to wait one more day. <laughs> At least she's exploring. Oh, he's there too. Well, so you just see his tail. <laughs> oh, he's going back in. You enjoyed a little update and remember to subscribe if you enjoy following along and uh, if you enjoy our vision and what we're up to then uh, it would be tremendous help if you uh, made a little donation to us all of your donations will go into setting up this place into a true bee sanctuary. It will be funding the hives, main the maintenance of the hives, helping us get a few bees so that we can uh, house them in the hives. 
and otherwise set up this place so uh, that it can be a real proper environment for not just the bees to thrive but all of the different pollinators. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>